Hey, thanks for watching Weekly Word. Uh, this is Christmas week if you're watching this. And so first of all, I wanna tell you Merry Christmas and I hope that you and your family have a great time together celebrating the birth of our, our Savior. Secondly, uh, for the next couple of weeks, we'll be taking some time off. And so there won't be a Weekly Word until uh, about the middle of January. And uh, then we'll start it all back again uh, through, throughout the year. You know, as I looked back on this past year of doing these weekly words and kind of remembered some of the things we've talked about, I found a common theme and I wasn't surprised because it's been something that's been on my heart that I've been feeling a great need uh, to communicate uh, the kind of life uh, that Christ wants us to live in a world that is so often uh, divisive and polarized and, and so often mean-spirited. Uh, he calls us to be his people, his children. Uh, Paul says in Colossians chapter 3, verse 12, he says, as God's elect, as God's chosen people, I want you to clothe yourself with kindness. And that's been a theme I think I've hit on a number of weeks. I read a story once about a uh, man that people thought was odd, eccentric. Uh, he walked around with a can of oil in his pocket all the time. And every time he'd open a door and it would creak, have some rough hinges, he'd give it a little squirt of oil. When he'd go through a gate and it would be hard to open, push, he had to push it hard, he'd give it a little squirt of oil. And all of a sudden it'd get easier. It opened up freely. The point of the story is, so many people thought he was just odd, but the story talked about how that that's really what the Lord wants us to be as his followers to walk around every day in our lives when all the people that we encounter, all the people in situations, sometimes that are tense and sometimes that are uneasy and sometimes that are full of people being mean to one another but with a can of oil, an oil of kindness. Give it a little squirt, loosen the hinges up, help the gate to open a little bit more freely. Give people something that they really need, something that the Lord Jesus wants you to give. So as you're thinking about Christmas, thinking about the gifts you're going to give, give a squirt of oil, a gift of kindness to your family, to your neighbors, to your coworkers, to even the stranger that you meet on the street. Because who knows, their life might be a little hard to open. They might have some creaking going on and they just need a little squirt of your kindness through the love of Christ Jesus. I pray you have a great Christmas and a happy new year. And may God bless you as we go into a new year. May it be a year that's full of opportunities to be God's people. God bless you. We'll see you next year.